G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. So here's a geometry question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. Riders on a Ferris wheel travel in a circle in a vertical plane. A particular wheel has radius 20 feet and revolves at the constant rate of one revolution per minute. How many seconds does it take a rider to travel from the bottom of the wheel to a point 10 vertical feet above the bottom? Okay, well clearly I'm going to have to draw a picture. Strategy number four, draw a picture, let's do it. So we've got riders on a Ferris wheel travel in a circle in a vertical plane. Yep, a great big round circle. They go around. A particular wheel has radius 20 feet. Might as well draw on a radius, 20 feet. Um, and revolves at a constant rate of one revolution per minute. So 60 seconds, it goes all the way around. Got that. How many seconds does it take a rider to travel from the bottom of the wheel, okay, I guess I have to draw a nice radius then, bottom of the wheel, to a point 10 vertical feet above the ground. Um, so, the, the, okay, this rider's gonna go around the circle and we're gonna get to the point where it's 10 feet above. So I guess we wanna know how many seconds does it take then for the rider to go from there to there on this wheel. All right, I feel like I've got the question under control and I know what at least I'm meant to be doing. Still not quite sure how to do it, but, but at least I know what I'm meant to be doing. Um, okay, well, okay, well, that's good, but what am I actually going to do? Uh, it feels, okay, it feels compelling to draw another radius. I mean, that just feels, feels good. Um, I'm not sure if it's helpful or not, but it's good. In fact, if it's kind of helpful, I might as well just draw the triangle. Actually, maybe that's not helpful. Um, I'm just, just flailing at the moment. Maybe, maybe I'll draw this 10 over here as well. Um, actually, what am I doing? I need, I need the... How much, how many seconds does it take? Well, I need the time. I need the time. How am I going to get the time? Okay, okay. I guess I need to know how much turning there is. I guess I really need this angle. For example, if this angle was, say, 60 degrees, that would mean, okay, I've traveled one-sixth the way around the circle. 60 degrees is one-sixth of 360, in which case it takes me one-sixth of one minute. It goes a full turn in one minute, that would be uh, 10 seconds. Or if this angle was, say, 45 degrees, that's what one-eighth of a full turn would be one-eighth of a minute. I could actually work that out. So the key is to know that angle. All right, if I get that angle, I'm golden. Well, 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 there must be a way to get that angle. Um, Okay, okay, still flailing, 10 and 10, I guess it's split in half. I bet I could work out that length. Seems like a Pythagorean theorem for me. Um, once I work out that length, do I know this length? Well, yeah, I bet it's Pythagoras again. If I know that length, would I know the angle? I don't know. Maybe some trigonometry or something will do that for me? All right, all right, there's a possible attack. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work out or not, but I'm actually gonna stop there and pause. Try to work out some more lengths in this diagram and tell me, does it actually help? Does it give us information about what that angle actually is and hence the time? And if you do that, you know, get an answer if you can, or if it doesn't work out, try something else. And then when you're ready, check the essay that goes with this video. I'm gonna work on this too. And let's see if we get to the same spot in the end. This is, this is kind of curious. This, there must be enough geometry in here somehow to get that angle. So let's see if we both get to the same answer in the same way and see where we end up at the, at the, end, of the end of our thoughts. All right. Thanks very much. We'll stop there for now. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.